got the Super Duty in the shop in its proper place on the left. So today, I'm going to change out something that goes here. Well, not really. So this is going to stay exactly how it looks. I'm going to remove all that though because something came in this giant box. This, a 60 gallon Titan fuel tank. So 60 is quite a bit more than the 26 gallons that it came with. So, so we got all these extra parts here, some straps go along the uh, frame to hold it up. So it's gonna weigh a little bit more, so it's gonna need bigger straps. It uses the factory hardware. So on here, I'm gonna get this thing up in the air take all of these brackets off. So that one's broke from the forks at the, the uh, salvage yard uh, at the auction. So we're gonna get all that off. And then take this little side plate off. I might need to remove or move the lifting points. We'll figure that out once it's up in the air and the old tank is out. So this will be a significantly large upgrade as a 26 gallon tank on a big heavy duty truck just doesn't seem like it's very much. Well, this took absolutely forever to get out. Mainly the problem being is that these connectors, this blue and uh, yellow one here. So you can see here, it's got this little push peg piece. Got to push that in, and um, these have probably never been removed if you try this. So they're very stuck. Uh, end up having to almost break these things off and then push them in manually with a screwdriver really hard. So this is uh, really, really dirty, full of dust and dirt. Um, there's a really good chance that there's going to be dust and junk in the tank in here so i don't know if i'll even be able to save any of this fuel if uh hardly any of it so we'll see um yeah that was a lot of work so i'm gonna try cleaning this off and not get junk and dirt in the tank uh, so i can get this o-ring and seal off of here i finally got this thing cleaned off that was caked with like five pounds of dirt it's just just all over the place that was just from the top of this fuel area. So now it's pretty simple. Just take a uh, hammer and a large screwdriver and uh, hit it along here and spin it counterclockwise and this lid will come off. And I can transfer this into the new tank over there once I make sure it's all cleaned out. Despite my best efforts, as soon as I cracked that loose, it, it just had rocks everywhere just dust and rocks just got everywhere and uh some stuff got in the tank so i'll probably transfer a gallon or so out of that just to get it started to a fuel station um, and then this had then rocks all over it and a little bit of stuff on the inside i that is just stuck i can't get that out uh, whatever tiny little pieces of dust in there is just that's going to stay in there for now. Um, I'm sure it'll get caught by the filters. Right. Not not being there at all, but I really don't have a choice. So the uh, orange gasket is what you need to use. That's super vibrant on the camera. Um, it's just regular flat, dull orange in real life. Um, so the uh, tanks need to be going in the same way. So... Uh, Actually, I had that out this way. So, this one came out like that, but I have the tank facing the other way, so it's going to go in like this. So, I just got to get that little guy in there, drop it down, and then uh, it's going to sit in there, and then uh, that's it. Finally got done. You notice the uh, door is shut. It took a lot longer to install than I thought it would. So, see from the side, 
that marvelous thing right there that's the tank it's sitting pretty low yeah um, so a lot lower than the original tank so looking straight on it's, you know an inch or two below the running boards there's a really good chance it's going to get hit with stuff take a look at it from the back it kind of hugs up underneath that def tank right there the biggest problem i had with the install it was not the tank it was it was the fuel lines getting them on and off um, or off and on let's say um, that was a gigantic pain fighting fuel lines with basically no room to work so if you decide to get this tank um, I wish you luck because it is going to be a giant pain otherwise um, I haven't got a chance to fill it up yet I'm gonna go do that now I'm gonna get the fuel tank updated here use force scan go to the IPC module configuration fuel tank and we're gonna edit that and update it with 60 gallons and now since we have about a quarter tank used 208 till empty and try writing this see what happens There we go, 593. And since I'm here, I'm gonna change this force regeneration request from disabled to enabled. It should allow me to use the uh, diesel particulate filter update. Now I have a exhaust filter screen. 